lot on the line as the Lions are trying to do that as well. So big game indeed, uh, Milt. Also, that is, uh, you know, another opportunity for G. Roy Simon to uh, <laughs> capture your record that yes. you hold. I'm not quite sure how many yards he needs. Uh, so, can we get a little... Oh, there oh, he is. Oh, there. Oh, he's man. He's about 227, 227. So, And then he's okay. going to surpass you. Uh, yes. We've yes. had fun with Milt a little bit all season long, mm -hmm. but uh, the bottom line is... Uh, uh, your, your, your reputation, you're going to the Hall of Fame, but right. uh, this guy is, is, is set to pass your all-time uh, receiving yards mark. And mm -hmm. you had a chance to sit down with him recently. I'm yes. really looking forward to seeing this. Yes, it was, it was a great interview. And for those who don't know, G. Roy actually started his career with me in Winnipeg. And so we went out and did an interview. And it was very interesting. We had a great time. Sit back, enjoy it, and here it goes. So when you score today, I want you to give a shout out to me. Alright. Okay. I'll do that. He said he's gonna break the record today. I didn't say I mean, that. How many yards do we need? 475. <laughs> he said he's gonna break the record today. Remember that. Well, we're sitting here with G. Roy Simon, the second best receiver in CFL history. How you doing, G. Roy? I'm good. Well, let's let's, let's jump right into it, G. Roy Simon. The uh the career receiving yardage. Uh it's pretty much a given you're gonna get it. Uh, the guys in the studio, they tease me about it. Every time you, you get closer to my record, Jock Climby, especially Chris Schultz, they tease me about it. My question I have for you, what does this record mean to you? And throughout this entire process, how has this journey been for you? Well, uh, first of all, it's going to mean it's going to mean a lot because it, it's 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 something that, you know, uh, after you, you're 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 the guy <laughs> and, and to be able to pass you. I mean, someone that, that I've looked up to all my career. Um, you know, obviously we were teammates when I first came into the league. You mm -hmm. pretty much showed me how to do things the right way. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to mean it's going to mean everything to me. Now, going back to your early years in Winnipeg, <laughs> you were how old at the time? I was 20, 20, 24. 20, 24. Yeah. 24 years old. You were acting 14 some days. <laughs> and people always ask me, how was G. Roy Simon his rookie year? And how can I put this? I pretty much knew what you did the night before <laughs> because it was written on your face the next morning when we came into practice. If you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, you understand yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. You had the talent, right. but you didn't know how to utilize it. You weren't professional yet. You remember the game against Montreal where I got ejected? Right. Kahari I did. said you were going to be the man. You recorded your first 100-yard game and had three touchdowns. G. Roy Simon has it. What a catch. When you're young like me, you got to wait your turn. And you know, today was one of the one of the opportunities that I got. All I wanted was someone to, to believe in me and, and give me that opportunity. And that's where this, I think the transition started from to me being a true professional. Like I really started to focus on watching you, watching Robert, uh, just seeing how you guys in, you know go out and handle yourself and practice and in the film room and things like that. And you know, I, I still had a little fun, but right, right. I, I tapered it down. Something else you took from Winnipeg, and I did not know this, but I'm humbled and flattered by the fact that you still do the same pre-game warm-up that we started <laughs> in Winnipeg. And yeah. very few people know about this warm-up, and very few people who started doing it continue doing it, because it's not easy. It's not. Why did you start doing it, and what did you think about it when you started doing it, and why do you still do it today? Well, I, I just started doing it because you would drag me out there. <laughs> But then I realized it's, it's not easy. It's, so it's not. But but I realized that you know basketball players have a have a have a shoot around before games. Mm -hmm. Hockey players have a pregame skate. And why not why not football players? It, right. And then you know when you get in the game in that first quarter, you you're not sucking wind. Right. You're, you know you feel fresh from from the first snap to the to last snap. So it you know it's it's something that you know I learned it from you, and I I still do. You know all the the crossovers, right, the, the right, karaoke. Right. I don't do the lunges still. <laughs> One game we, we did lunges and you I hurt like my hands. Right. And I was like, I ain't gonna do it. But I still walk and right. I still I, I backpedal. I do all that stuff and it's it's been something that that's helped me throughout my career to you know stay healthy and stay fresh. I didn't want to leave any stone unturned, so <laughs> I said I'm gonna go on your Twitter page yeah. and see what's going on there. And there was a message that was sent to you, your cousin who plays for the Bengals. Mm -hmm. After you broke the BC Lion touchdown record, he <laughs> sent you a message saying. Congratulations on breaking the all-time CFL touchdown record. Right. And you tweeting back saying, no, it was only the BC record, right. but in due time, <laughs> I will break the touchdown record. Now, eventually, matter of weeks, you'll have the yardage record. Next year, you will break Ben Cahoon's reception record. Do you plan on breaking my <laughs> touchdown record? Well, I was always taught to, to set your goals high. Right. And uh, 
I don't know what you got, 140 or 147. 147. Yeah. I'm only at about 95, and I don't think I'm going to get there. Well, the way you're going, you'll get there. If you continue playing like you are. I'm setting my goals high, mm -hmm. but I, I, I'm not sure if I'll get there. I don't know if I'll play long That's not what you said on your Twitter page. That's not what you said. You said in due time. If, if, if I get the ball in the red zone, I'll break it. <laughs> well, if you do, hopefully I'm back here to interview you. It's been an honor and a pleasure watching you grow as a football player to the player you are right now, but more importantly, it's been an honor and a pleasure watching you grow as a man, as a husband, as a father, as a family man, because that's what's most important. Whenever you break all my records, I'll definitely be there to support you. And I wish nothing but the best for you and your family. Thank you. Thank you. I, I just want to say thank you because, like I said, you showed me the way. And, and, and even though I wasn't playing with Winnipeg for, you know, I only got two years with you, I always, you know, admired you from afar and just just watched everything you did and, 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 and just, just, you know, just followed, followed your lead. So I, I just want to thank you. Well, you better thank me when you break all these records. <laughs> <laughs>